This is our main dining room. Welcome to Cafe Lola. We have it decorated for Valentine's this week. Um, as you can see, this room seats about 50 people. My name is Tara Morrow, and this is my restaurant, Cafe Lola. Uh, we've been here three and a half years. We are on Northbourne Street in the same complex with the Olive Garden and the Carmike Theater. I would describe this restaurant as a corner bistro, wine bar, very comfort food uh, with great ingredients, simple but yet cozy and comfortable. And a family and friends, you know, like a place where you and family and friends and your coworkers wants to come in and like to enjoy. Our chef is Michelle Browning. Uh, she's originally from Johnson City and she had moved away and worked in New Orleans in some of the four star restaurants there for a while. And um, luckily for us, she moved back here because of the Katrina. <laughs> so we, we were lucky to have her at the time that she moved back and it's just right around the time that we opened up. So she's been with us for a long time and we're really grateful to have her. It's one of our popular dishes. Nobody really serves mussels around here. We serve it for lunch and dinner. We've got a saffron tomato broth here with some fresh tarragon, fresh thyme, some carrots, fresh fennel, fresh leeks, and a few grape tomatoes. I learned this recipe uh, from a place called Paris Style in New Orleans. It's under a different chef now, um, but she's a James Beard award-winning chef, and uh, I learned a lot of charcuterie plate stuff there. So I'm just gonna check these mussels here. Got a hot bowl here. After Katrina, and uh, luckily was found this job with Tar and Hunter, and they're great people to work for, and we do a lot of different things. We change the menu up quite seasonally. Um, Lots of fresh ingredients. Like we just did a menu change this week. Oh, because it's seasonal things. Like to have you know stuff that's more comfort food in the in the winter, and then you know in the spring and summer have a lighter fare. Do more fish items. I like to take the mussels and kind of line them around the dish. It's always fun to change the menu up. You don't get bored like that, um, cooking the same stuff over and over. Plus, we have such regular clientele that they, you know, usually request different things on the menu. And, you know, I'll make whatever anybody wants. If anybody has a special request, we're always, always willing to compromise and make whatever they want. We do a lot of special dietary needs for people. And then I'm gonna top it off with my broth. And there you have it. Saffron tomato broth mussels. Cafe Lola. I think our menu present what Michelle's and I put together. She brought in this very southern Creole uh, comfort southern food that people down here like. And I brought a little bit of like different ingredients from different parts of the world. So our menu will read a little bit like have a little Asian inspire on some dish, have a little European comfort food on some dish, and then it's presented in a way that American people like. And this is our wine selections that we have. On top we have all the beers that we carry. And we also serve sangrias every day. Um, the white is made from a Chardonnay, and the red is uh, made from the Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh, I like this. I get to drink on the job. Yeah. <laughs> I would tell to people that don't like wine that it's actually a very fun experience, and I think one of the things that we pride ourselves off is that we're not trying to come across as being a snobbish place that people can relate to. I think we're trying to present wine in a very friendly environment, and we're trying to open people's eyes and try new things with food pairing and wine and that's why we you know we always do um, the our monthly wine tasting is a great way for people that never try it to come in and you know spend $29 and have a full dinner with five different wine pairing and and you know felt walking out learning something new about it without feeling intimidated by it. We pride ourselves of being a wine bar because all of staffs are very well trained. Uh, every month we have a monthly training where we go through different regions and we're teaching all our staff about the wine that they're drinking and that, that they will be serving. And every month we do a wine tasting where we invite people to come into our restaurant and have a very affordable food and wine dining experience. And then, you know, we believe that once they come in, once they're going to come back and they're going to enjoy it and they want to bring their friends and family. So all our staffs are very well trained on that. And if you follow me through this little hallway, we'll take you through our little speakeasy's bar, the Martini Room. Exactly. As you can see in here, it's more loungy and couch. It has a couple tables, fireplace, and it's a little bit more cozy. It's a, a little hidden room. 
This is a martini room and we've uh, added it on in December 2008. Uh, our thought behind it was that we needed a bigger place um, and we wanted to give people a place where they can come in. Sometimes, you know, like before and after dinner, they might want to meet here and have a couple cocktails um, or even like just to have it as a, a more quiet room to have dinner. And it's inspired by this whole prohibition speakeasies where you come in and the bartenders will know who you are and it's a tiny little place and everyone knows your name and they know what you drink and we feature a lot of the cocktails from the prohibition eras as well. Hi guys! <laughs> you want to join in? <laughs> That's what we do here. <laughs> Um, this is Happy Lola's Martini Room. Isn't it fabulous? 